Hey, what's up, everyone? Here are my predictions for Fight Night in the Sphere. Very exciting fight card that we got going on. Here's all my predictions. Uh, we'll give you a quick breakdown of why I think these fights are going to play out the way that they are. First and foremost, I got Rosas Jr. winning. He's the favorite here, obviously, big time because he's been on a tear. Super young, good grappler. Um, his opponent is a very good striker and could upset him in his hype. I just don't see it happening. So I am very confident that Rosas Jr. is going to win this either by submission or by decision. So we'll go with that. Next, we got Van. And I picked Van because last fight he was looking very good against Charles Johnson. And he just got slept. He got a nasty KO against him. But he looked really solid that fight, and I think he's going to bounce back. He's a better striker and just a great fighter overall, too. Next, we got Yasmin as a lock. She's just a better overall fighter. Great grappler, great striker. So as will look probably, she'll, she'll look pretty polished round one. But I think she's going to take a lot of damage in the stand-up game. So that's why I got Yasmin winning here as a lock. So moving forward, we have Bahamanes and oh, I forgot his name. Torres. Yeah, Torres. Torres is a great fighter, though. I, I'm not picking against him because he's been on a tear. He's been knocking people out round one. Bahamanes is 15-5, and five, I believe, and he's a good striker, too. And he's a, a little bit taller than Torres. But I think Torres has been on a good streak, and it will be a battle of who, who stands the longest in terms of striking. So we'll see what happens there. But, yeah, I like Torres. The next, we got Aldana versus... Uh, Norma Dumont, I think her first name is Norma. I picked Dumont, though, because Aldana looked awful in her last title fight against Nunes. And Dumont is a way better wrestler. The only thing that is concerning is Aldana's striking. But Aldana did not look great in her last fight, and she's only getting older. So I picked Dumont because I think her wrestling is going to get her a decision win. So we'll go with that. And then our next lock, we got Rodriguez. Ronaldo's been on a yeah, Osborne's a really good fighter too, and I think these guys are going to take each other out and it's going to end in the distance, but I think Rodriguez is the better fighter, and it's in Mexico. He has the home crowd advantage, so we're we're rolling with him, and I just think he's too good to not pick him, so yeah. Next, we got Daniel Zellhuber versus Esteban. I don't know how to say his last name, but I picked Daniel because I think he is going to use that reach to his advantage. I think he has a nine inch reach, which is crazy. And I think these guys, they're both, they both only have lost once, but Daniel's a better fighter in my opinion, and I don't see him losing this one. So yeah, we're rocking with him. And that is it for the prelim picks and the first two main card picks i'm gonna pull up another graphic for the last three because those these are big big fights all right first card of the big three we got brian ortega as the underdog i think one of these three fights there's going to be a huge underdog and the mo the most likely out of the three are either marab or ortega and i think t-city is the toughest uh out of him and Lopez, I think T-City's tougher. And as we saw last fight that uh, Lopez had, Dan came in super short notice and rocked Lopez. And it was concerning for Lopez because he, he could have lost that fight uh, if if like he didn't have such a stellar third round. But I think Ortega is going to take this either submission or distance. And I think Lopez, he's right in the hot hand and he's beating everybody right now which is why everybody's picking him but yeah i'm riding with ortega proven he's fought a lot of good fighters in his time and i don't think you can simply take that away from him and act like he hasn't been with the best already so i think that's going to come into play here and he's going to tear it up so we'll see but yeah i got ortega next we got shevchenko and grasso alexa grasso is younger by five years yeah, I think Shevchenko's 36, Grasso's 31, so yeah, five years. Grasso's only getting better. Her jujitsu's gotten way better. Her striking's getting better. Like, as she as she is progressing, she's only getting better. And last fight, she should have lost against Shevchenko, in my opinion. 
But I think she's going to bounce back this fight with better skills in her corner. And I think Shevchenko, she's already at the top. She can't really get much better. But I think at 36, I think she's going to lose to Alexa Grasso for the trilogy. And it's going to end like that. So that's my opinion. We're riding with Alexa Grasso. Last fight of the card. I got Sugar Sean O'Malley versus Marab. KOing him. I think it's going to happen. A lot of people have it. But yeah, I don't think Marab's chin is built for this. It's been tested before. And he's been rocked. He's been rocked a lot of times. And Sugar Sean's a sniper. He's got good reach. And I don't see Marab coming back if he gets rocked like that. So if he takes some damage the first few rounds, I think it's going to add up. But yeah, it's going to add up. And I don't think Marab can take all these strikes from Sean. And I think Marab's only chance of winning is by taking it to the ground. And if he's able to keep that cardio that he's always had and take down Sugar Sean like it's nothing like he did Cejudo, he can win. But I don't see Sugar Sean being taken down over and over again with the spam takedowns without fighting back and hitting Marab a few good times in the head. So Marab's got to be careful. He's playing with fire here. And I think Sean is going to pull it off. So, yeah, these are our picks for the night. I hope we do well. But, yeah, good luck to you all. Hopefully we get a good card. Hopefully these fights are all entertaining. And hopefully Dana delivers his promise of the most entertaining spectacle in the world. So we'll see. I'm excited for these main three fights, though. I think they these will be really good fights. So, yeah, good luck to you all. We'll see what happens.